Hi, I'm Ron Nessam, and I'm here to briefly share my story. Um, my grandparents were all born in the Middle East in a very different world. On my father's side, um, they came to Jerusalem from Salonika, we actually know in the 1820s, uh, and lived in Ladino-speaking Jerusalem. And on my mother's side, my um, uh, grandfather was born in Jerusalem. He's originally from uh, Halabi, Aleppo, from Syria. Uh, he eventually married my grandmother, who was born uh, from the Sassoon family, uh, who was born and raised in Cairo. Um, both sets of grandparents uh, left uh, what was then Palestine um, on the eve of World War I or when it was just beginning because a lot of the young men left to avoid the Turkish draft, which was considered a death sentence, and they went to South America. Uh, and my parents were both born and raised in South America, and uh, my father in Paraguay, and then in Panama, Costa Rica, and my mother in Colombia. Uh, they eventually separately made it to the U.S. Uh, they, uh, through various connections, met and got married. Uh, and in many ways, the world my grandparents were in, where the Ashkenazi and Sephardic worlds were largely very separate. Uh, that was true also in my parents' generation, but, but somewhat less so. Uh, in any case, it, my father was very involved with Sephardic things, founded the Sephardic Educational Center in Jerusalem that I've become involved with, uh, that sort of committed to telling the story of what we call classical Sephardic Judaism. Um, I was born and raised in Los Angeles, so I, I didn't emigrate anywhere like my grandparents and parents did. Um, most of my friends growing up were Ashkenazi Jews, so I'm, I'm very comfortable in both worlds. Um, and uh, in some ways, maybe even more comfortable in the um, Ashkenazi American world. And it's a very different world. And we, uh, you know, I don't expect, I, I think that Sephardic Ashkenazi distinctions are, are less important, but I hope some of the Sephardic uh, philosophy and culture and, and uh, way of thinking is preserved. And I think it adds something to add to Judaism. And that's what the Sephardic Educational Center is about. We believe in something called as I said, classical Sephardic Judaism, which is a blend of, um, you know, the philosophy is not black hat, but it's traditional. And uh, there's a spirituality with it that I think has been lost in some of the more liberal elements of Judaism. So it's a real spirituality, but trying to be as liberal as possible within the halakha, forward thinking. Now, that philosophy has not been in ascendancy and in many ways in Israel. Black hats have taken over, uh, even in the Sephardic world, influenced by the, uh, uh, some of the Lithuanian yeshivas and things like that. But we think that this moderate middle road philosophy has something to teach uh, the whole Jewish world, and that's something I'm interested in. Now, I married an, an Ashkenazi, uh, someone I love very much, Paulette. Our kids are Ashkafards, um, and I hope that they, they're proud of both uh, cultures and heritages. Um, and um, um, in terms of some family uh, superstitions or foods and all that, one thing, and I'm not really the source of it, but uh, my grandmother always said was never cut your nails at night. It always had to be during the day. Uh, and uh, we had great Syrian halabi cooking, uh, which kibe and many other great dishes that I've always loved. Uh, so anyway, that's my quick uh, story.